Hey everyone, I wanted to again say a huge heartfelt thank you, okay, for getting to that 500 mark, okay. Um, that's huge, okay, for a new channel. Our next goal is a thousand. Um, I did want to do a shout out. We will see, hopefully you will see this. I don't know if I can tag you in any way. So I just have to help that you'll see your name um, and that you will be like, oh, that's me, okay? But, okay, so I've got this one last sealed up deck. I have no idea. It's one of the 30 card decks of the Mindset Unicorn deck. I don't know if it was one of the very original decks. Maybe there's misspellings in it. I don't know. Anyway, okay. So it is my affirmation, okay, in Mindset deck. I do use it pretty much all of my main videos and sometimes I will use it in my um, personal readings if I feel called to it, okay? So you will have like harvest and um, orange chakra, okay? And purple chakra, okay? Each one has a channeled message that I came up with, visualize. So like for visualize, it is today maintain a detailed picture of what you desire. Now automatically bring the desire towards you. Clearly visualize, okay, your desires. I did recently um, add some. There's blue chakra, okay. Bull, one of my favorites. It comes up a lot because we are stubborn, stubborn people, aren't we? Okay, wish. I love that one, talking about the wishing words where sometimes you're wishing for one thing, right? Instead of the other, you're like, oh, I want this, but you're like, oh, secretly I want this. Spirit guide, listen, breathe. Green chakra. Okay, another one that I really love, bridge, okay. Fall. Winter. Okay, yellow chakra. I can't remember if transform was in the first deck or the um, more recent update where I added 20, 24 cards. Okay, energy. Create, it's one of my favorites. Journey, Red Chakra, Spring, another one of my favorites. I think Letting Go is in the first 30, okay? Birth is one of my very very favorite energies to come up with. Um, it's about bringing forth, okay, an energy. Morning. Spirituality. Sometimes spirituality comes through to me of rewriting the old programs, okay? grounding definitely about you know connecting to that root chakra connecting to mother earth summer so i'm excited to send this to you uh, if you will reach out to me probably the best way is either if you're on instagram okay i'm at mindset unicorn or if you go to facebook to mindset unicorn and send me a message, okay? Send me a message and um, let me know where to send, okay, your deck. Um, and I'm very excited for you, okay? So um, definitely send me the message in a way that I can verify that it is you and not just some random person, okay? And it is Claudia, I think it's Miroshnenko or Miro K 
Okay, Miro Senencho. Senen, Seneno? Miro. I'm probably butchering it. Miro Senencho. Miro Senencho. In my head, I can hear it and say it. In my mouth, I cannot. But it sounds to me like Ukraine or Romanian in my head. <laughs> I could be wrong. But anyway, okay, you are the winner. I will give you um, two weeks, okay, to claim this. If you don't claim it, I will go back into the random generator and I will choose another, okay? So I hope that that uh, was exactly what you had wished for. All right, thanks you guys. Um, I will definitely do another giveaway when we hit that thousand point. Um, but I think I'll do it differently to make it easier because I just assumed I could just go to your page. I'd be able to connect with you. I think that I will have to do the giveaway next time for a thousand where you have to go to like my IG or to um, Facebook where I can actually connect with you and message you in order and tag you in order to do the giveaway that way. Okay. So. I've got it tagged for you, all right? It's sitting here waiting, and I will mail it off as soon as I get confirmation, okay? All right, thanks, you guys. Bye. Hi, patrons. Welcome. Okay, so I'm going to do four, all right, the... Um, main Monday okay because I did say that I would do going forward I will do a Monday bonus okay of what to look forward to in your week for the extended program okay so I'm going to do that um, for each sign um, and if you are a part of the 888 program you will get the um, you versus them Monday through Friday, okay? So what does Aquarius need to know, okay, for the week? Okay, Aquarius, I feel like you have been really holding on, okay, to like your foundation you're trying to keep it away from the darkness okay and that darkness I feel like could be something that you are feeling bound to okay and it's something that you could be feeling like it could be a part of your family okay but I do feel like there's an ending of a cycle coming in here remember as a general rules okay um, this could be someone you're involved with. I'm getting their energy. It also could be that um, it just hasn't happened yet because the energy can go out um, seven to 10 days past the week. Okay, so keep that in mind. But you're ending a cycle, okay? Okay, and I feel like this is you definitely walking away from something that's not serving you, okay? Because today you are given the opportunity to remember with gratitude that which has passed, okay? So on this world card, something that you are just letting go of, okay? you're being guided to go with the flow okay I do feel like all right this is definitely an energy that is meant to be passing okay meant to be moving on and okay they're showing me the penguin they're really showcasing the penguin here now I know that penguins okay that they mate for life so it could be um, it could be an energy I feel like of really letting go of someone that was really, okay, 
a big part of your life and understanding, okay, this almost, to me, this is like Elsa, okay, frozen. And so going with the flow, okay, sometimes means letting the, letting things go, okay, um, using your energy to take your power back, all right? So I hope that that helped Aquarius. I'm going to move on to Pisces, okay? Pisces, what's going on for the week? Okay, so you kind of put something in the middle of your relationships here, okay? Three of Swords. It's causing you a lot of headache, okay? It could be all about, I feel like almost like a, like they're showing me like a mini series or a telenovela sort of an energy, okay? Where it was definitely more of a dramatic emotional energy than it was of what happened in real life. Okay, 10 of Wands here. Okay, yeah, you've got the brilliance now, okay, to be able to move forward. Okay, you've ended a cycle here, and with the Six of Wands, okay, I feel like you're just going to kind of go with the energy. Try really hard not to let ego kind of step in, because I'm feeling like ego could definitely come into play there. Yeah, you're really being guided, okay, to gently just go with this flow. Don't allow ego in. Um, tap deep into yourself today and allow the flow of the universe to provide for your every need. So as you're ending something here, you're being provided for, okay? And bottom of the deck over here, okay, I've got the Hierophant, okay? So we've got fire signs here. We've got Taurus here, okay? Okay, so middle world, all right? I do feel like, okay, you're not really going to fully move on from this person, okay? You're not fully going to move on from this heartache or whatever is with like coming between things, okay? You are kind of at that middle space, okay? You're moving away enough to get your clarity. However, um, not so far away to be able to look back on it and see it as a past issue, okay? So I hope that that helped you, Pisces, okay? We're going to move on to Aries. Aries, what's going on for your week? Okay, so Aries, you're feeling very secure, okay? King of Pentacles. All right, we've got that cardinal earth sign, all right, and the sun, lots of happiness, okay? You feel like you're in a, just a solid space, okay, where you are in control, all right? However, don't forget, okay, that the wheel is always turning, all right? You may have dreamed last night with a, uh, Jupiter being in conjunction, okay, um, or the night before with Jupiter being in conjunction with the moon and giving you some sort of an idea of how things were moving. You are at the top of the wheel, okay, you are being guided, okay, by your spirit guides to um, take the next step forward. My feeling is if you do not, you are inviting a tower here in your future, okay? So. 
okay? This divine timing is about your heart, all right? You're being asked to open your heart today and consider what could be stopping you from giving or receiving love, okay? So, I mean, the pen, King of Pentacles is solid and stable, and you've got the sun here, which is happiness, okay? But you may not be allowing yourself to fully open up. Okay, again, I feel like Earth has a lot to do with this, all right? Um, earth signs, you may be feeling very grounded where you are, okay? You um, may feel like you don't want to open up that space, okay? You don't want to open up to hurt. And then here's counsel comes out, okay? So there is some hurt that you're dealing with here. Even as you're being stable and happy, your inner soul, okay, I feel like is struggling with some sadness, all right? Possibly be due to your soulmate because this is an 11, okay? So allow yourself to feel, okay, don't freeze it out. Open your heart, okay? Or tower shall come, okay? I hope that that helped you, Aries. We're going to move on to Taurus, okay? What's going on for the week for Taurus? Taurus, two of wands, decision is at hand, okay? All right, time to make the decision. Four of swords came in kind of as a past energy. I feel like you're working out of the mindset, okay, of being um, stuck, okay, in the belly of the beast almost, okay? And here you are as the Hierophant, okay? I feel like you are coming through the mist, okay, in order to claim this higher level commitment that it, you're like, it's mine. Okay, if you're going to claim this, all right, stay grounded, all right? The power and strength of red energies brings you courage and motivation for what you must do today connecting to vitality, belief, and inner strength, okay? And we have night. The night does not offer the solace of the dark, but it offers the opportunity to seek the light. Without light, there is no dark. So if you're holding back on this, okay, because you are worried about the darkness, all right, know that within the dark, there's a reflection, okay, of the light. There's the ability to see the light because of the dark, okay? Okay, Tree of Life. I feel like you are already deeply rooted and entangled with this person. Okay, I feel like they have your heart and that this is where you want to be. Okay, you're trying to manifest it. Um... I feel like you struggle with the manifestation because um, you may be looking too much at your past, okay? So keep that in mind and um, perhaps you need to turn your mindset around to the forward, okay? Alrighty, so we are going to move on to Gemini. Gemini, again, okay, I feel like you are, you could be trying to move 
out of this energy, okay? Around the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like um, the person controlling you, okay, could be a fixed earth sign, but regardless, I feel like you're trying to sneak, okay? Trying to sneak around this person, okay? You are ending a cycle here, all right? I feel like um, you have the knowledge now of what you want to do with the full moon. You're ready to go after what you want. Um, I almost feel like, okay, the cycle has been about hurting yourself, okay? And I feel like you are moving out of that cycle, okay? Um, use the full moon to your advantage, okay, with the high priestess energy here, okay? Connect with your person, okay? Use that energy to um, really pull in the higher knowledge of what you want to manifest with them. Okay? And you want to manifest a new day. Okay, that's what I feel like here. Greet this day with joy and gratitude. The world is still in quiet and your mind is at rest. Start this day with a clean slate and leap forward without hesitation, without once looking back. Okay. And you're an air sign, Gemini, and the bottom of the deck is air, ten of swords. So you're at the end of the BS mind fuckery, okay? So let it go. Okay, you get the staff. And to me, the, what they're showing me with the staff here, it's, I know it's weird, but I'm seeing like a giraffe, okay? and that um, the giraffe has a huge heart. Okay, so the actions that you're gonna take forward as like an ace of wands, okay, a new energy, getting rid of the deception, okay, using that intuitive mindset is going to be following your heart, okay? That's what you are manifesting. And yes, I feel like you had choices, you had paths, Okay, but it's become clear to you, and I feel like that's, okay, I'm also showing all the energy that you're using with your heart towards the moon, okay? So, you know, you know where your heart is, you know where you want to go, and that's where you're moving forward, okay? So, I hope that that helped you, Gemini. We are going to move forward to Cancer, okay? Cancer. What's going on in your week forward? All right. Week ahead for Cancer. Okay, Cancer. You're in your head, okay, about um, wanting to be picked for something, wanting to be the star. Okay, you feel like you are kind of going at this alone, but I feel like this will be a new beginning, okay, for your foundation. It feels like you will be um, moving forward to a higher accelerated position, okay? Just keep out of your head, okay? The five of wands, you could allow yourself with the relationships that you are in to let you get in your head okay and you're being guided to not do that okay okay stay grounded okay if you start feeling this inner conflict to go outside take off your shoes walk in the grass all right today your energy is centered grounded and focused and calling for any support you can give to really ground and connect with the earth be one with the earth and be one with your body. So really pay attention to your body, okay?
Okay, be careful that you don't fall into old patterns, okay? Um, try to not be completely devoid of emotions, okay? I feel like the grounding will help you, okay, in that. But again, the arrow here, you're building, you're in a synergy moving upward in this week, okay? So take that as it resonates. And we're going to move on to Leo. Leo, what's going on in your week? What's going on for Leo? I feel like there's more, but I'm not clarifying. <laughs> in that way okay so yeah you're at the end of something that has been a almost like i feel like it's a passionate your own personal hell okay and so you're taking a new beginning you've got the truth you've got the stability okay i feel like this is almost like a um this sort of cross is almost like a participation you're participating in things that you're doing you have like the four of wands okay um you're pulling in i feel like the twin flame soulmate connection with this new truth okay prince of wands yes you're just barely getting started with this okay just brand new okay Okay, yeah, you called this forward. This is like a new cycle, okay, with the universe energy. Universal energy surges through you today and leads you to a new and brilliant, in, into new and brilliant spaces. My nature is divine. I am a spiritual being, okay? So this, you're seeing this and you're moving towards it and it is a brand new energy, okay? Yeah, don't back down, okay? There's an energy that you could feel almost like um, like an unworthiness, like you're just um, going after scraps. Use the energy of this full moon, okay, right behind you with the coyote here, all right, to bring forth, okay, a very strong energy moving forward into this new beginning. Okay, you have the power within this moon of the ancient ones, okay? I feel like of the karma that you've created for yourself as well as your ancestors, okay? So call that in and ask for their assistance and let them, okay, help move you quickly away from this past to the future, all right? So I hope that that helped. We're going to move to Virgo. All right, Virgo. Virgo, what's funny is what comes up for me when I think of Virgo is Verbo, okay? Which is the vacation, kind of like the Airbnb. So you might be going on vacation, but in my head, like, Spirit was making a joke of, don't drop the eye, Virgo. Okay, what's going on for the week for Virgo? So maybe you have someone around you that does a lot of really dumb dad jokes. Or maybe that's your dad and your dad did a lot of dumb dad jokes and they're just trying to take this as a time to reach and communicate with you, okay? You are trying to manifest something, okay? Um, I almost feel like you're not 100% sure about how to do it, all right? You feel like you're a little bit misty about it, okay? Um, this one is, to me, is like the magician that's like blowing 
it out their ass almost, okay? Kind of like you're just kind of faking it till you make it. All right, Eight of Pentacles, you are definitely working on yourself, okay? Um, try not to see this working on yourself as a step backwards, okay? King of Swords, you're trying to get... Okay, it's interesting because there's the balance here. You're trying to get the balance here, all right? Um, but you're holding really tightly, okay, onto this truth. All right. It could have to do with a Four of Wands connection, okay? I've got that at the bottom of the deck here. Okay, you get tree, okay, here on this king of swords. You stand at the tree of life. The earth nourished you. The roots are your driving principles. The trunk gives you strength. The branches are sprouting points and the leaves your harvest. Take what you need, okay? Don't forget to be rooted in your intentions, okay? You have to have some solid ground, okay, like solid wood. Okay, you have to have some solid ground and not just the swords of thoughts, okay, to bring this manifestation to light. And I feel like that's kind of what's being shown here because your feet are in the clouds. So you may not be taking the grounded intentional actions that you need to, okay? Okay, it could be about emotions, all right? Release your emotions to this full moon, all right? I feel like um, you've got too much emotions in it. You're too much in your head to really um, move yourself in the direction that you want to go, okay? So kind of release that, okay? Whatever is overwhelming you, release it. And that should give you the power, okay, to move forward. So I hope that that helped. Okay, we're going to move on to Libra. Libra, what's going on in the week ahead? Okay, week ahead for Libra. Libra, you are in like full power mode, okay, this, this week. Queen of Swords, um, very demanding, okay, you're refusing to let your past come back to you. You're like, nope, you go over there, mm-mm, had enough of you, okay? I do feel like, all right, you, it almost feels like Okay, I'm getting the feeling like if this sword could have like legs and arms, like it almost feels like you're like the truth goes marching on. Like you, um, whatever you are feeling is your truth here. Okay, it has moved you into this energy of not wanting to participate with this person. I feel like this could be a twin flame relationship or soulmate where you're like, I've had enough brutalizing. Okay. Now I'm in control. I've taken back my life, but mainly, right. You just, you're trying to take back your mind. Okay. I feel like you're done with having this person overtaking your, um, your mind all the time. Okay, because we also have the Seven of Swords. It's like all swords here. And over here, underlying energy is the King of Swords. So yeah, this King of Swords, okay, they are in your mind, thick as thieves, okay? And um, with the bunny here, okay, they could be coming in, trying to balance things out, saying, hey, you wanna get together? And, um, in your head, you're like, yes, yes, let's be like bunnies. But you know what happens to bunnies. Okay. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Okay. Realization. 
all right the fog clearing away okay the mist the air moving away today you're stuck with the awareness that all you desire your wish your dream has come true seek gratitude for your blessings okay so you could be working against okay all of this based on the way that you feel in your head okay based on um, thoughts and beliefs yeah okay again i'm being shown the penguin here penguins mate for life and i'm being shown the wind this person could have felt like they they come and go okay and um you could be stressed out because you have the energy feeling that they're coming back again okay and you're just trying to be in the mist and not get too rooted into this person okay so i hope that that helped you libra okay we are moving into scorpio okay you are ready to take a new stab okay at getting beyond whatever it is that you feel like has been taunting you and keeping you away from your person okay you um, all right are dealing with divine timing be aware of how you manifest and work within that divine timing okay because you could encourage lightning to strike more or less okay it could be um just repeating another pattern okay i feel like you're trying to go with the flow however um with your ego you are really in your head about whatever this is that you are going after Okay, yes, you're writing over old beliefs, okay? Um, go to the inner space that is connected to the one energy source that you may call it God or universal light. Purify your consciousness for the highest and purest outcome. Like, rewrite these angers, these old beliefs, okay? Part of it could be that you feel like you are um, fighting alone, okay? You feel like the lone wolf. You're being called to a sacred journey or mystical path with the lone wolf. Look into the eyes of this creature and you will see what you seek in order to gain your freedom. So perhaps that's what you're fighting. You're fighting for your freedom, okay? But you're being told, listen, okay, you have support. You just have to open your eyes and see it, okay? You are definitely going on a journey okay the holy mountain all right i feel like um it could be that it's going to be more complex than you think okay but you're going to get to the top of the mountain because we have the upper world here and you'll be able to look back okay and see where you've come from see all that you've accomplished and have all of the insight and awareness to move forward and this healed throat chakra okay energy that i feel like is going to come with it now remember okay crows are so stinking smart 
okay? And they do, they have families and they return home, okay, every night and they um, are smart and sassy, but they also um, can allow ego to get into their heart, okay? So use this full moon to release whatever ego is driving you in this journey so that you can just use the smart and brilliance and um, true heart, okay, to move through this and get to that upper world, okay? Moving on to Sagittarius. What's going on in your week, Sagittarius? Okay, someone's trying to give you a new foundation, okay? I feel like you're coming out of this really fiery transformational energy, okay? And someone is waiting there to kind of catch you with this new foundation, okay? I feel like you're going to use the moon to kind of manifest and recreate, okay, the energy of the divine feminine within your twin flame or soulmate connection okay probably to do with the emotions okay and i feel like it's because you want to call in the divine masculine to actually put some fight into this okay and come and desire and be with you okay because i do see all right the energy of this divine feminine okay all around this horse okay of this sort of divine masculine energy and it's passion filled so, okay, you're trying to call the passion back from this person, but I feel like someone else is stepping in that says, listen, I'm bringing you foundation, okay? Okay, and this person that's coming in for that clarification, you get journey, okay? The possibilities of your journey are endless. Today, be grateful for your past, which leads you to this moment where your journey begins anew. So I do feel like this is a new energy coming into you. Okay, it could happen very quickly because the bottom of the deck is the chariot. Okay, it could carry away your emotions because of it being cancer. Okay. I feel like you've turned away from the bear okay you're transforming into this hunter and you are moving okay moving away from the bear for something new okay so I hope that that helps you Sagittarius we're moving on to Capricorn Okay, Capricorn, you are getting ready to take a journey, okay, to take some steps in your life to move ahead. Someone's passion could be trying to stop you, okay? I almost feel like that triangle today is coming out as a warning. All right, I feel like all of this started, all this transformation started in the summer. Okay, and you've been taking the actions to 
bring yourself some abundance in all of this, okay? All right, I do feel like you just feel that you're just sitting there, though, because you've got so many emotions about all of this. You feel like if you move in the wrong direction, okay, you're going to get stung somehow in all of this, okay? Bottom of the deck is three of wands. These emotions could have to do with a third party, okay? Okay, and you get on this Queen of Cups possibility, okay? Today you have to but ask the question and listen for the possibilities. The answer you seek is waiting. So whatever you've wished for, okay, it's waiting for you. Again, I feel like you are moving forward. When I looked at this, I almost felt like the arrow moving forward, okay, in the water. It almost felt to me like this was fire and water, okay? And so fire and water, okay, doesn't mix well. So I feel like you have to really make sure that you know what you're building on, okay? And don't just move all of this energy via emotions okay because what's going to happen with the emotions okay is that they're going to turn into ice okay they're not going to flow you're going to have um, all of the negative emotions come out so try to release the control okay within this full moon and allow yourself the opportunity to balance okay the emotions with the um, stability of the movements you want to take okay to move forward all right so i hope that that helped you capricorn this is a sneak peek okay this is what i will be doing um, for the extended program every every week okay and um the those that are in the combo program Okay, we'll get this plus the Monday through Friday. Okay, you versus them reading. All right, love you guys. See you later. The link for the programs are in the description box. All right, bye.